the gun box. Always talking. How about it on a guitar for this set? Willie Stanley, give it up. He's got a lot of his names. He's called Flip Flop, too. On the bass all the way from Brooklyn, New York, y'all. How about it? We call it Mojo Weakness for Kevin Jenkins, give it up. Way in the back, back there on the drums all the way from New York City, Manhattan. Give it up for Robin Gould. Guitar, this guy's been putting up in my crowd, taking my booze away. <laughs> Somebody's not, not, not the booze, the booze. <laughs> Give it up all the way from Brooklyn, New York. How about it for Rockin' A? Off the meal somewhere. Originally from uh, Manhattan, New York as well, but uh, now resides in Chicago. Please get up for tell off recording artist Miss Sharika Cooper. <laughs> My father was a great blues musician. His name is Johnny Clyde Copeland. I'm so grateful that he was a blues musician because I grew up in Harlem in the middle of the hip hop era. And if he wasn't a blues musician, um, you know, all the kids were listening to rap or Whitney Houston. Those were the two choices. You know? And um, <clears throat> I realized I was different in second grade. I thought I was normal, okay? But second grade talent day, I found out I was a different kid because all the boys would get up and they would do their rap. You know, they go, it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep them going under. <laughs> And um, I couldn't get behind that because I'm like, dude, you're in the second grade. You're not going under. It's all going under. Nothing's happening to you. You know, such a that. <coughs> and then all the girls would get up and they would do their favorite, you know, Whitney Houston song, which was at the time, I believe the children are future. Now, I couldn't get behind that either because. I looked at those miscreants I was in school with and I knew they were not the future, okay? Maybe Mrs. Gates' class across the hall, but not my class, okay? So I get up in second grade in front of the class and I put my hands on my hips like this and I get my little stink face on and I go, I'm a woman! I can make love to a crocodile. <laughs> That's the part that got me in trouble. <laughs> Which is also how my mother enters the story because, um, of course, this teacher who, when I think about it now, was probably a decade younger than I am right now. And she was just this sweet little thing and she calls my mother up on the phone and she goes, um, Mrs. Copeland, your daughter is in school singing about making love to her. <laughs> do you know, do you know what's going on? And my mom, you know, as sweet as she could say it back to her, she goes, Honey, she's a blue singer. That's what she does. <laughs> so anyway, that's how I found out I was different, and that's why I'm here today. Singing for you guys, so. I'm gonna do this song dedicated to my very, very cool parents, my father who wrote this song about 50 years ago. I'm gonna do it, is that all right?
Oh, no.